Hud, Arabic, Hut was a prophet of ancient Arabia mentioned in the Quran. The eleventh chapter of the Quran, Hud, is named after him, though the narrative of Hud comprises only a small portion of the chapter. Historical context Hud has sometimes been identified with Eber, an ancestor of the Israelites who is mentioned in the Old Testament. He is said to have been a subject of a mulk Arabic, Mulk kingdom named after its founder, Ad, a fourth-generation descendant of Noah his father being Uzi, the son of Aram, who was the son of Shem and a son of Noah. The other tribes claimed to be present at this time in Arabia, were the Thamud, Jerham, Tazim, Jadis, Amim, Midian, Amalek Imlak, Jassim, Katan, Banu Yaktan and others. The Quran gives the location of Ad as being Al-Aqaf Arabic, al the sandy plains, or the wind-curved sand hills. It is believed to have been in the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula, possibly in eastern Yemen and or western Oman. In the 1980s, a settlement was discovered and thought to be Ubar, which is thought to be mentioned in the Quran as Aram al imad Arabic, Aram al ima at Aram of the Pillars, and may have been the capital of Ad. An alternative translation of Aram dhat al imad is Aram of the Tent Poles and it is uncertain whether the name identifies a city or a tribe. <inaudible> Narrative in the Quran This is a brief summary of Hud's narrative, with emphasis on two particular verses The people of Ad were extremely powerful and wealthy and they built countless buildings and monuments to show their power. However, the Ad people's wealth ultimately proved to be their failure, as they became arrogant and forsook God and began to adopt idols for worship, including three idols named Samd, Samad and Hara. Hud, even in childhood, remained consistent in prayer to God. It is related through exegesis that Hud's mother, a pious woman who had seen great visions at her son's birth, was the only person who encouraged Hud in his worship. Thus, the Lord raised up Hud as a prophet for the Ad people. When Hud started preaching and invited them to the worship of only the true God and when he told them to repent for their past sins and ask for mercy and forgiveness, the Ad people began to revile him and wickedly began to mock God's message. Hud's story epitomizes the prophetic cycle common to the early prophets mentioned in the Quran. The prophet is sent to his people to tell them to worship God only and tells them to acknowledge that it is God who is the provider of their blessings. The Quran states, We sent to the people of Ad their brother Hud, who said, O oh my people, worship God, you have no other God but He, as for the idols, you are only inventing lies, O oh my people, I ask no recompense of you for it, my reward is with Him who created me. Will you not, therefore, understand, O oh my people, beg your Lord to forgive you, and turn to Him in repentance? He will send down rain in torrents for you from the skies, and give you added strength. So do not turn away from Him as sinners." They said. O oh Hud, you have come to us with no proofs. We shall not abandon our gods because you say so, nor believe in you, all we can say is that some of our gods have smitten you with evil." He replied, I call God to witness, and you be witness too, that I am clear of what you associate in your affairs apart from him. Contrive against me as much as you like, and give me no respite, I place my trust in God who is my Lord and your Lord. There is no creature that moves on the earth who is not held by the forelock firmly by him. Verily the way of my Lord is straight. If you turn away, then remember I have delivered to you the message I was sent with. My Lord will put other people in your place, and you will not be able to prevail against him. Indeed my Lord keeps a watch over all things. Hud preached to the people of Ad for a long time. The majority of them, however, refused to pay any notice to his teachings and they kept ignoring and mocking all he said. As their aggression, arrogance and idolatry deepened, God, after plenty of warning, sent a thunderous storm to finish the wicked people of Ad once and for all. The destruction of the Ad is described in the Quran. So when they saw it as a cloud advancing towards their valleys, they said, "'This is just a passing cloud that will bring us rain. No. It is what you were trying to hasten, the wind which carries the grievous punishment, it will destroy everything at the bidding of its Lord.' So in the morning there was nothing but their empty dwellings to be seen. That is how we requite the sinners. In other religions 
Judaism and Christianity do not venerate Hud as a prophet and, as a figure, he is absent from the Bible. However, there are several pre-Quranic references to individuals named Hud or possessing a name which is connected to Hud as well as references to the people of Ad. The name has been linked to several biblical names. The name Hud also appears in various ancient inscriptions, most commonly in the Hadramaut. Place of burial Several sites are revered as the tomb of Hud. The most noted site, Kabr Nabi Hud, is located in the deserted village of the Hadramaut, around 90 miles north of Mukalla and is a place of frequent Muslim pilgrimage. R. B. Surgent Hud, 129, verified on the spots the facts related by Harawi Ziarat, 97 who described, at the gate of the mosque, on the west side, the rock onto which Hud climbed to make the call to prayer and mentioned, at the bottom of the ravine, the grotto of Balhut. Around the tomb and neighborhood, various ancient ruins and inscriptions have been found. However, as is often the case with the graves of prophets, other locations have been listed. It is said, for instance, that a possible location for his Qabr Arabic, QBR grave is said to be near the Zamzam well, or in the south wall of the masjid in Damascus. Some scholars have added that the masjid has an inscription stating, Hadamakam Hud, Arabic, this is the tomb of Hud. Others, however, suggest that this belief is a local tradition spewing from the reverence the locals have for Hud. See also Biblical narratives and the Quran Legends and the Quran Muhammad in Islam Prophets of Islam Stories of the Prophets Citations Bibliography <citations> 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 References in the Quran Ad people built their land, 7–69, 26–133–134, 89–7–8 Arrogance of the Ad people, 41–15, 26–128–129 Hud's prophecy, 7–65–72, 1150–57, 2338–39 26 to 124 minus 127, 26 to 131 minus 132, 26 to 135, 46 to 21 minus 23. Persecution of Hud, 7 to 66 minus 67, 1153 minus 55, 14 to 9, 26 to 136 minus 137, 38 to 12, 46 to 21, 50 to 13, 54 to 18. Destruction of Ad, 7 to 72, 1158, 11 to 89, 2341, 25 to 38, 26 to 139, 29 to 38, 29 to 40, 40 to 31, 41 to 13, 41 to 16, 46 to 24 minus 25, 51 to 41 minus 42, 53 to 50, 54 to 19 minus 20, 69 to 6 minus 8, 89 to 6. Topic. Further reading Quranic Tafsir on Chapters 7, 11, 26 CF, Index, HUD Ibn Qutayba, Ma'arif, ed. Yukasha, 28, 56 Tabari, History of the Prophets and Kings, I, 231 Thalabi, Tales of the Prophets, 1290, ed. 63 ff Hamdani, Iqlal, I, 37 ff. Ibn Kathir, Stories of the Prophets, Story of Hud R. B. Sargent, Hud and Other Pre-Islamic Prophets of Hadramaut, Le Musion, XLVII, 1954 <laughs> External links The Story of Hud